In previous sessions, we talked about the methodology and the model, and the data model. Now what we learned in the data model is that it went through a variety of stages. And so I'm going to take that opportunity to divide these stages again. And I wonder if some of you can remember what those stages are. For example, the first one was prospect. What was the second one? Do you recall? MQL. Next one? AskQL. Next one? I know you want me to write a win down there, but it's not right. We're going to call it commit. And why? Win and close indicate the end of something. It's a mutual commitment. Then we go live. From live, we go to uh, recurring revenue, MRR or ARR, and then we go to LTV. What we see down here is a framework. And with all the future uh, materials, we're going to work within that framework. I'm going to give you a few things on what is happening down here. In here, there's marketing. Down here is prospecting. Prospect. Then we have selling, sales. Then we have onboarding. I'm just abbreviating that. Following onboarding, do you remember what it is? Achieve impact. And then finally we have grow. Now again, we use these specific words. We use, don't use expand because expand or, or um, uh, anything that indicates that it's not customer centric, we're trying to stay away from that. What we have down here is the opportunity now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you within these brackets what the sales process is. And as a sales process, the process, I'm going to identify the tasks that are going to go in there. So for example, I'm going to start with prospecting. Prospecting, I got outbound, and I'm just abbreviating that, out, and I got inbound. But I also may have target. And when I say target, I mean like target. The difference between outbound and target, outbound I'm going to go to a lot of people, like a thousand people, one person inside a company. Target, I may go to four or five people. You may, uh, inside an organization, you may think of this as ABM. So those are several of the processes that sit in prospecting. If I go upstream and I go like, hey, what processes are sitting in the marketing part? Well, we may don't have down here, we may have SEO is one of the processes. We may don't have here content, you know, maybe one of the, uh, the, the stories. There's a lot of stuff, step that we have down there. We may have nurture. Um, there's a lot of things that we can do down here. Those are the steps of the marketing process. If I now see what are the steps in the sales process? Well, if all these SQLs come in, I actually may have to do a discovery call. Discovery, disco. Following a discovery, I may do demo. Following the demo, I may provide a proposal, propose. And following the proposal, I may have to go and assist them and uh, help them to, do, to gain commitment. We call that trade. Not negotiation, trade. We pick all these words because we believe that are really it's very important to be customer centric. The moment in time that I now see, you know, like that the trade moves on, from the trade, I now go to what? Onboarding. Now, with high technical sales processes, I need, uh, I need a sales engineer to tell me if the system actually can sell. So what you sometimes may find, that we have pre-boarding here. And that the pre-boarding advises later on during the onboarding which is whether this is going to go or not. Now, following that, following the onboarding, I go to the next step. And this is a, a, an important step because down here we achieve impact through usage. If the customer doesn't get that, you know what, they're going to not be too happy. So we're going to have like a, a problem scenario or you know, like they're going to indicate that, that they have an issue. And if that doesn't work, they may be offboarded. They go back out of the system. Obviously, we hope that the customers who have a problem get well real soon through your ability to help them manage through that. After that, what we are going to go into, we're going to go into one more step in this last step. This last step has essentially has three specific blocks. Renew is the most common one. So I'll, you know, like that is where you sell to the same customer, the same solution. The next one that we have is upsell. We sell to the same customer more of the new solution. We then have the cross sell. We sell to new customers a new solution. These are indicating of the process of different processes. What I've done here is simply using that model on top. I've created with you the ability to define your sales processes. As simple as they are, 
we recommend that you hang a, a poster on this in your office because this is the way where we can point as if we run into a problem, we can point somewhere. And we say, Jocko, I don't have enough SQLs down here. Okay. Do we don't have enough from outbound or inbound? Jocko, I don't have enough MQLs. Okay. Which campaign didn't it generate? What is the, the SEO metrics? What, are, where, where did it, what did not generate the right amount of MQLs? And so we can use this. And what, what happens when we hang this as a poster on a wall? Everybody, your colleagues, are looking at it from the same point of view and you're looking at the same model. It's team building. This is what a proper process will do. This process now is mapped to a data model and is mapped to a sales methodology in order to provide you with a simple to understand uh, uh, common methodology for your entire customer facing organization with all the defined processes. What I'm going to talk about next is picking one of these processes, for example, discovery call, and we're going to dive in and further analyze how can we improve simply that discovery process.